Right now we're at Hope Community, located in the Phillips neighborhood in South Minneapolis. We're at a major intersection in the city, Portland and Franklin. These four corners have became basically abandoned. Urban woes and different kind of problems was plaguing this particular area. Hope started as a shelter, but the idea always was about how do you engage with people. 20 years ago, the city was telling us, why do you want to be involved in Franklin Avenue? Nothing's happening there. And our vision was that something can happen here, and it can be very positive, and it can be from the people who are here. So now there are multi-story buildings on all four corners, and it feels like there's life happening. I think of our buildings as creating a stable space where all kinds of community things can happen. Part of it is the buildings, but in our work we move beyond buildings. So you have a physical building and then you actually have the building of the person. A lot of organizations come in and want to tell people, here's what we think the answer is. We come from the opposite approach. A lot of times, for me in my work, I ask the question, I don't know why, what do you think? Kind of the anti-social service model. We view people not as clients, but active participants shaping their lives. Really about challenging people, meeting people where they're at. We really want to advocate for people to advocate for themselves. We ask people what it is that they want, but it's not as if when we ask you, then we just provide it. What would you yourself be willing to do to help make something happen? Try something, see what works, make it happen, uh, learn from it, build on it. First, it starts with that personal power and that individual power and you recognizing it. Before, I felt very helpless, didn't have the language to really speak of what was happening or how I felt. I went through the organizing training and I've taken it back to my neighborhood where I live and I'm now a full-time organizer in St. Paul. You have to have a genuine love of people and to have belief in their ability to win. We don't tell people what to do with these skills, but we track and connect with them. So just a wide network of people who understand what their power is. Innovation comes in getting out of the way <laughs> and letting people figure things out for themselves. Hope has a true belief in people. In order for change to truly happen, it comes from when masses come together. The things that we're fighting for and the things that we want to change are going to take time. But it's not the time of just idling the cusp of urgency and patience. Long-term work. A lot of times in communities here you see people come and go. And the fact that uh, Hope Community has been here for 30 years is a testament uh, to our investment in this community and the belief in people.